GAMP 5, Good Automated Manufacturing Practice, is a guideline created by the International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering ISPE, to help the pharmaceutical industry ensure that automated systems used in manufacturing and testing are compliant with regulatory standards. It provides a risk-based approach to computer system validation CSV, focusing on product quality, patient safety, and data integrity. GAMP 5 is widely recognized as a best practice in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries for validating and maintaining computer systems. Key Principles of GAMP 5 Product and Process Understanding The first principle emphasizes the importance of thoroughly understanding the product and manufacturing process before implementing any system. This ensures that the system is designed to meet the specific needs of the process and product. Lifecycle Approach GAMP 5 promotes a lifecycle approach to validation, where validation activities occur throughout the system's entire lifecycle, from conception to retirement. The lifecycle stages include Concept, Understanding User Requirements and System Scope Project, Design, Development and Testing of the System Operation, System Maintenance, Change Control and Continuous Improvement Retirement, System Decommissioning and Archiving of Data Risk-based approach A major aspect of GAMP 5 is its focus on risk management. Instead of validating every aspect of the system equally, GAMP 5 suggests using a risk-based approach to prioritize validation efforts based on the potential impact on product quality, patient safety, and data integrity. This is aligned with ECQ 9, Quality Risk Management. Scalable approach GAMP 5 advocates for a flexible, scalable approach to validation which can be tailored based on the complexity and criticality of the system. Smaller, simpler systems require less documentation and testing, whereas more complex systems require more rigorous validation efforts. Leverage supplier involvement GAMP 5 encourages companies to make use of supplier activities and documentation where possible. Many suppliers of hardware and software systems already follow rigorous testing and quality assurance practices, so companies can leverage these to reduce duplication of efforts. This involves collaboration and clear communication with suppliers. Efficient Validation Documentation GAMP 5 highlights the importance of creating value-added documentation. The aim is to reduce unnecessary paperwork and focus on documentation that adds value to the system validation process, is risk-based, and meets regulatory requirements. GAMP 5 Categories of Software GAMP 5 divides software into categories based on the level of complexity, which helps guide the validation approach. Category 1. Infrastructure software includes standard operating systems, databases, and network software. These are typically validated as part of the infrastructure. Category 3. Non-configured product software that is off-the-shelf and not configurable, such as word processors or analytical instruments with fixed functionalities. Category 4. Configured software systems that are configured to meet specific business needs. Examples include Laboratory Information Management Systems, LIMS, Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP, Systems, or Manufacturing Execution Systems, MES. Category 5. Bespoke software custom developed software designed specifically for the company's needs. These systems generally require the most rigorous validation efforts. GAMP 5 Validation Process The GAMP 5 validation process is structured into several key phases, which are similar to traditional CSV methodologies but enhanced with a risk based focus. Planning Develop a validation plan to define the scope, approach, resources, and responsibilities for validation activities. Requirements and Specifications Develop User Requirements Specifications or, to define what the system must achieve. Follow up with Functional Specifications FS, and Design Specifications DS. Risk Assessment Conduct a risk assessment to identify and prioritize risks related to product quality, patient safety, and data integrity. System Design and Development In this phase, system design and development are carried out following good engineering practices. Ensure that design aligns with specifications and risk controls. Testing and verification validation activities include installation qualification, IQ, operational qualification, OQ, and performance qualification, PQ, depending on system complexity and risk. Testing ensures that the system meets its specified requirements and operates consistently. Reporting and review after testing, 
a validation report is prepared to summarize the validation process, deviations, test results, and acceptance criteria. Operation and maintenance post-validation activities include continuous monitoring, change control, and periodic review to ensure ongoing compliance. Decommissioning once the system is no longer needed, a controlled decommissioning process should be followed, ensuring proper data retention and system archiving. GAMP 5 and Regulatory Compliance GAMP 5 helps organizations comply with regulatory standards such as FDA's 21 CFR Part 11, Electronic Records and Signatures Regulation, EU GMP Annex 11, Guidelines on Computerized Systems for Pharmaceutical Companies in the EU, IC Q9, Quality Risk Management, Used Globally in Pharmaceuticals, Benefits of GAMP 5 Reduced Validation Effort. By applying a risk-based and scalable approach, GAMP 5 helps organizations focus on critical areas and minimize unnecessary work. Improved compliance. Ensures that systems meet regulatory requirements for data integrity, product quality, and patient safety. Efficiency. Emphasizes efficient validation processes, avoiding excessive documentation, and leveraging supplier efforts. Summary GAMP 5 offers a comprehensive, flexible, and risk-based approach to computer system validation. It is designed to improve compliance, enhance system quality, and ensure that systems support the safe, effective, and compliant production of pharmaceutical products.